Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So I do see you know a lot of questions still regarding the autonomous engineering colleges uh, regarding KCT and Comet K, right? So that's why I thought of making this video where I will explain the autonomous colleges, you know, your deemed university or the private universities and the list of complete you know colleges in Karnataka which are autonomous. And I will also give an example of you know a very reputed group three colleges so that it will clear your doubt completely. So in simple term, what is an autonomous college, right? So autonomous engineering institute. So basically autonomous institute is, is a, you know, status is a granted to a colleges or institutions which maintain a very high standards, right? And then they have a flexibility to have their own academic syllabus and customize the complete teaching, learning, everything based on the global employability. And I will explain in detail in later. But, uh, but for a starting, it, it, they maintain a very high level standards. And why to choose this autonomous college is basically they have provide a good amount of flexibility uh, in a robustness in terms of curriculums, in terms of structure, in terms of uh, uh, in exam process, evaluation process and all other, right? So all of you now ask me the question, is it an autonomous or VTU? Which is it itself a wrong question. There is nothing called autonomous versus VTU. There is only autonomous, autonomous versus affiliated college, right? So the, so the correct question should be autonomous college under VTU and affiliated college under VTU because both the type of college, be autonomous college or affiliated college, they are all under VTU, right? That's the picture you see on the top, right? That you study in any autonomous college or affiliated college, your degree will always have a stamp of VTU, VTU Belgam, right? So even if you study at RVCE or BMS College of Engineering, your degree will have a stamp of VTU Belgam, right? That's, that's now in detail, right? What autonomous college can do? So, you know, autonomous college have a freedom to review, structure their complete course and the syllabus. So they can define whatever they want to add, include as an elective or anything which they require, right? Second, autonomous college can announce their own results and issue their own issue mark sheets, right? On behalf of VTU, right? Autonomous college can decide on admission rule and core courses fees, right? So that is so in this specific case, since VTU decides the, you know, uh, fees for uh, all its colleges, so that it's not with the college, but other type of fees college can decide on their own, right? They can appoint teachers and staff, including principals, right, of their own. That is the benefit of uh, autonomous college. Autonomous college will be affiliated to a university that is in this case is a VTU university, right? Most of the colleges, autonomous colleges are affiliated with VTU only. Next, you know, who will monitor such college? So UGC, right? These colleges are under UGC will have a create an external peer re review group, right? Which will review all the things which are going in any autonomous college. And if they don't follow the process, the autonomous status will be cancelled, right? Now regarding the funding, right? So UGC also helps, you know, these autonomous colleges in grants related with seminar, teacher training and redesigning of the courses, right? and some of the examination reforms which they want to carry what they will not fund ugc will not fund to this autonomous college is regarding the course fees or the staff salaries or the creation of the new post right so that's a main difference now most of you also ask you know the say Dayan sagar university is autonomous or not or any ms rumaya is under vt or not so the uni university right U universities are all under ugc which is university grant commission and there are two type of universities if you see here you know the main one under section 12b and the other being the regular universities and there are four categories right state universities deemed universities central university private university so you see a lot of colleges in karnataka which are uh, private engineering college part of a university like your Dhananand Sagar University or MS Ramaya University all those are called the state university state or state private university so this is some high level figure of the different type of and then there are deemed universities which are like a Velour Institute of Technology or you know my Manipal those are all deemed universities right so all of these institutions which are university are by nature autonomous so there is no question of they being under VTU all universities are are autonomous by nature right why because they can manage their own funds they will not depend on any you know other university they will have their own syllabus they will have their own exam and they can do a lot of things on their own 
now uh, i'm going to give you an example of you know these three type of uh, things right so dhanan sagar group right as you know they have three engineering college dhanan sagar college of engineering dhanan sagar academy of technology and management and third is the dhanan sagar university so but the three all three have a different nature right so dhanan sagar uh, college of engineering which is the main college which started in 1979 right that is an autonomous college affiliated to vtu so it is an autonomous college right it is a completely the best in class college and that is affiliated to vtu then they started the second college right which is dhanan sagar academy of technology and management that is also a good college and it's a nac a plus rating but that college dsatm is not an autonomous college it is affiliated to vtu it is a plain affiliated to vtu it is not an autonomous college right? that's a dsatm and the third one which is recently started is a dhanan sagar university so by nature of deemed university it is you know autonomous in its own and dsu is not at all affiliated to btu first two are affiliated now i am giving the list of complete you know autonomous colleges in whole of karnataka right because i see lot of questions coming from all of you you know is these colleges autonomous or not so the important thing in mind is that no none of the pr uh, private universities are under vtu they are all autonomous by nature and if i start now from the belagavi region right there are three colleges which are autonomous so one is the sdm college of engineering and technology which is a very excellent college and it's an autonomous college under vtu the th next one is the also an excellent college basaveshwara engineering college which is in bagalkot district so it's a autonomous and the third one is the kls gokte institute of technology kls git in belgam and which is also not autonomous so only three colleges in that belagavi region in the kalaburgi region there are two colleges then these two colleges are also very good balari institute of technology and management bitm balari and pda college of engineering kalaburgi or it's called gulbarga and both of them are good and i have made review for all of these five college which you have seen as an autonomous college till now right now the next region is the bangalore region and bangalore region actually has the highest number of autonomous college so around 13 to uh, 14 autonomous colleges are there right so if you start with the list you know Uh, Siddhaganga Institute of Technology do it is not in Bangalore it is near to Bangalore Tumkur that's why it is counted in the Bangalore region and it's an excellent college some men you know, of 50 60 70 year old college right the next one we all know right rv college of engineering in bangalore is an autonomous college and it's a one of the best college in karnataka right so you know right the next is the niti minakshi institute of technology which is part of the nitte group right and also coming up very well in terms of placement and the academics is a autonomous college then bms college of engineering similar to rv college of engineering excellent college and it's an autonomous college ambedkar institute of technology is also a very good private engineering college and almost 40 50 year old college and it's very good in terms of its alumni base as well and placement right so it's an autonomous college the next college on the list is uh, you know nagarjuna college of engineering that also is a very old college 34 years old college and this college is available at lower ranks also but it has a decent placement and it's an autonomous college seventh is the dayanand sagar college of engineering which i just spoke which is an autonomous college under vtu right you can see here but you will not find dsatm here because it is just affiliated it's not an autonomous the next is a new horizon college of engineering bangalore it's also an excellent placement college an autonomous college and the next one is similar to you know above one right mvj college of engineering again the very established college 40 year old college in bangalore is an autonomous college ms ramaya institute of technology another autonomous college and then global academy of technology also available at 15k is csc ranks right and it's a decent placement it's an autonomous college right and the next college is bms institute of technology which is the latest college and which is also autonomous and bnmit also also got the autonomous status recently so only 13 engineering colleges in bangalore are autonomous right rest of are are affiliated to vtu and uh, other 11 of them are like a private university which i have covered in another video now move to the next region which is the mysore region right so mysore region also has a good number of autonomous institutions so malnad college of engineering also counted in mysore region it's a hasan college and it's an autonomous college then the pes college of engineering in mandya that 
college is also very excellent and it has got a very good placement offers this year as well and it's an autonomous college the next college nmit which is nitte mahalingam aditya is actually now not an autonomous and it's a part of a nitte university but it is still showing on the vte website from where i am just showing here so third one is not the autonomous it is not removed from the vte website the fourth one is the nie mysore right which is an excellent college and again it's an autonomous college then the mangalore region colleges like saint joseph college of engineering in mangalore is a very good college in terms of placement again and it's an autonomous college uh, and uh, vidyavardhaka college of engineering in mysore is also an autonomous college and shown the good placement and the last college on the list is sahyadri excellent placement is also an autonomous college so hope you have now a good clarity about the autonomous college under vtu versus affiliated college under vtu and then the deemed university which has nothing to do with vtu thanks for watching and please do subscribe this channel to get a similar updates and knowledge